So now we are going to look at how to drive an automatic car. Uh, people assume automatic cars are one of the easiest cars to drive. Yes, it's true. It's a very easy car to drive. But at the same time, uh, it has a lot of uh, risks. It is important for you to know the basics of how uh, a car works. So it's very important before you sit on the driver's seat to start and drive uh, an automatic car, uh, just make sure that you understand clearly how it works and get someone, a qualified driver, to introduce you uh, to, to the car and to be able to guide you how to drive a car. Do not attempt to drive an automatic car or any other car for that matter without being accompanied by an experienced driver if you don't have an experience how to drive a car. It's very, very important. Uh, safety is very important when, when it comes to a motor vehicle. So let us look at how uh, a, a car works. So let's begin with the basics of a car. What you should know uh, when you plan to start to drive an automatic car. So we look at the basics of a car. And this is what you should know. Number one, very important, how to steer a car. You should be able to know how steering a car works. Very important. You don't want to start to drive a car and you can't control it. Number two, uh, controls. This could be your indicators. Very important. You must know how to put indicators. You must know how to <clears throat> put on lights. So in short, you should be able to know the various controls of a car and how they work. We've not yet started the car. Then number three, and most important, you must know how to stop the car. You will start to drive the car, and that is a common mistake that happens, but how do I stop it? So just make sure that you know how uh, to stop a car, and you will be safe. So these three important things are very important when you're learning how to drive a car. There is a video uh, that introduces you to the basics of a car. Please make sure you watch that video. There's a video that uh, takes you through the indicators. The next point is your mirrors. Yeah, Know how to use the mirrors uh, in a car. There are basically uh, three mirrors in a car. There's a left side mirror, passenger mirror, there's the right side mirror, uh, driver side mirror, and there's the rear view mirror. Those three mirrors are very important for you uh, to be able to know how to use them. And also your eyes. So we have got four eyes in a car. Two side mirrors, one rear view mirror, and your eyes. So we've got what? Four eyes in a car. An automatic car has got two pedals, the accelerator pe pedal and the brake pedal. These are the two pedals you'll find in an automatic car. So here you have your, you have your brake pedal and your accelerator pedal. So there are those two pedals in an automatic car as opposed to a manual car which has got three pedals because the, the process of engaging gears is manual, so it has a third uh, pedal which is uh, the clutch and which is used in assisting a driver to engage the gears, but an automatic car has got uh, two pedals, that is the accelerator and the brake. So in addition to those uh, two pedals, a car has got what is called a handbrake. Has got a handbrake, or in other in some in some cars, you will find it has what is called a foot brake, and this will be a small pedal besides your brake and your accelerator pedal. Yeah, so this is the foot brake. This will be your foot brake, and this helps to it's an, an emergency brake, just like in any other car. So there's a handbrake, which you use your hand uh, to engage or disengage, and there's a foot brake, 
which you use your foot to engage or disengage. So depending on the uh, type of car you're driving, you'll either find it has a foot brake, but most of the, most cars have got uh, hand brakes. Very few cars have got foot brakes, so you, you don't need to worry much about this. But it's important for you to know uh, if the car has a hand brake or a foot brake. Gears arrangement in an automatic car. So, just like a manual car, an automatic car is also driven using the gear system. However, the process of engaging uh, gears is different between a manual car and an automatic car. And that is why the term manual and automatic. So, in a manual car, you physically engage or disengage gears. In an automatic car, the gears automatically change themselves. Yeah, The gears automatically change themselves. In terms of number of gears, in, in, in these cars, you will find that a manual car has got uh, four to, let's say, seven or eight gears. Similarly, also automatic cars have got the same concept of, of gears. So they'll have uh, four gears up to seven gears, but they automatically change themselves as the car uh, picks, picks up speed. So it's important to know then how this works. We now look at the arrangement of gears in an automatic car, which is very different from a manual car. Uh, so a manual car, so this is the arrangement of a manual car. This is how the gears are arranged. So when you are engaging gears in a manual car, which is uh, physical like we've seen, you will engage from number one to number two to number three to number four to number five. And when you engage the reverse gear, you also engage the reverse, reverse gear and the car will move uh, backwards. In an automatic, this is how the gears are arranged. Yeah, so this is how a normal automatic gear is arranged. So let us look at what each gear does in an automatic car. And remember, like in a manual car, an automatic car also has a gear shift lever. So in the arrangement of gears for an automatic car, it also has a lever for shifting, for shifting gears. So, and mostly you will find this is your, an example of a lever and it will have a knob either at the side there is a knob at the side or or basically here there is a knob here or on top here you will find this there is a knob so it is very important to know what this extra knob does. So the basic knob allows you to jump your car from neutral to drive or from drive back to neutral and in to reverse. So it is very important. Also when you are coming from uh, the parking position, you press the knob inside or whatever depending on the on the design of the gear lever and you are able to shift gears up and down you must press the knob to be able to shift the gears up and down of an automatic car so as you shift the gear lever as you as you move the gear lever you press the knob so that the gear lever can jump from each position to the other position p means parking This is the parking position. So when the car is not moving, the car is parked, you have stopped. It, you always put your, your car in the parking position together with the handbrake.
So always make sure whenever you park your car or you stop the car and you'll not be driving again, you switch off the car and get the handbrake and put it in the parking position. Then we have a reverse. The reverse gear, as the name suggests, is to move your car backwards. Then we have the neutral position. So just like the manual car, which has uh, a neutral position, also an automatic car has a neutral position and it is denoted by the letter N on the gears arrangement. So when the car is at this position, it is free. It can roll backwards or forwards and if you've not pressed your brakes. So whenever your car is at the neutral position, please ensure either the handbrake is engaged or you have pressed your brake. So when the car is at neutral, it is, at, it is free. It is at free, free mode and it can either roll backwards or forwards depending on the surface where the car is if you've not pressed your brake or you've not engaged the handbrake. So whenever the car is at the neutral position, always ensure that it's either on handbrake or you've pressed your, your, your brakes. So that is the neutral position. Then finally, we go to the drive, which is the most used gear in an automatic car and the most critical gear in an, in an, in an automatic car. So when you, when you want to drive off the car, you engage the drive gear and accelerate. For an automatic car, you don't need to change any gear. So you just need to accelerate and the car will move. What you just need to do is to control your car using your steering wheel, uh, reduce the speed using your brakes when you need to reduce the brake, brakes, and that is it. And the car will move. And the other thing you need to know is that when the car is at the drive position, it automatically shifts gears based on the speed at which the car is traveling. So unlike the manual car where you have to manually shift the gear, the automatic car shifts itself from gear number one to gear number five or gear number four or gear number six, depending on which gear speed the car has. So, but the concept is the same. The more you accelerate, the higher it engages the gear and the faster the car moves. When you're slowing down, again, it will downshift automatically itself and you don't have to worry about that. So that is basically an introduction to how an automatic car works. And now you should practically see uh, how all this comes together. So we'll do this uh, practically inside the car and we'll see how it works. In the theory aspect, so now we're going to the road to learn how to drive an automatic car.